Welcome to the Brandstand Woodwind Shop. This is the second video in this series. Yesterday I put the penetrating oil on all the sides in the valves and today I'm going to get those taken apart. I hope that the penetrating oil loosens things up a little bit. Uh, usually penetrating oil by itself does not work but it helps loosen things up to make it easier to pull the sides or valves. I'm going to get started on that and we'll see what happens. The main tuning side is out most of the way so that might not be too hard to get out. I'm going to pull on that by hand first and see if that will come loose. If not, there are other ways of doing it, but if it comes out easily by hand, then I'll take it. Um, okay, I don't think... Okay, okay, the top is loose. Now we just have the bottom. I'm twisting this a little bit to try to get that loosened up. Uh, you want to be careful. If you do it too much, you can destroy things. But a little bit of twisting usually is okay. okay I think this might actually be coming apart. Okay, yeah. There. Yeah, it's coming apart slowly. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Well, that one was not too hard. Of course, it helped. It was most of the way out. You can easily see the difference in the tarnishing between the stuff that was inside of the slide tube and outside. I've never seen something tarnished exactly this way before. It has a like a chalky type of feel to it. It's kind of a it kind of feels disgusting when you touch it. Now I'm going to take off the third side stopper. There's a little screw there. It's a hex screw. So I have the hex wrench here. I'm going to try to get that off. And that was a little bit rusty. Okay, it came off anyway. So that was not too hard. And now this should come out. And now the third valve slide. There are actually two third valve slides. There's this section here, and then there's a smaller one that comes out of there. I have to get both of those out. There are a lot of ways to get out stuck tuning slides, but you always start with the way that's the least likely to cause damage. Now these slides are probably going to be very stuck and need a lot of work to get them out. I'm going to start on these slides by using the wicking material. I'm going to cut off a section of that. If you'd like to buy some wicking material, I do have some for sale on my website. And you can look in the description below for a link to that site. So I put that through the slide. Now when I pull this, um, either this slide may come off or this slide, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. They both need to come off anyway. And I'm guessing though that probably neither of them will come off with this method. And I'll probably need to use other methods. But I'm going to start with this one and I'll see what happens. I take the end of the wicking material and chuck that into the vise. Now I'm going to take the trumpet and I'm going to pull it back rather quickly and see if this will come loose. I'm going to hold on to the slide so if it does come loose it will not hit the vise. Okay, well I'm going to try this and see what happens. I do not know if this is going to work or not. I'm pulling pretty hard and nothing seems to be coming loose. I'm going to pull even harder now. I know this looks violent, but the instrument can take the pressure. And once you've done a lot of these, you know how much pressure the instrument can take and you do not exceed that. I pulled about as hard as I can with one hand holding the slide. So what I'm going to do is put the rag there. So if it does come out, it's going to hit the rag and not the metal part of that. So now I'm going to pull with two hands like this. Okay, I don't think that is going to come out. I don't see any movement there on the slide, so I guess I have to try another method. I have a box with a lot of different chunks of wood in it. This one is part of a drumstick. Uh, this is a Jenga block, and I have parts of a dowel. I actually use this for uh, French horn rotor bearings. And uh, I have piano key, well, parts of piano keys and a few other things in here. Whenever I get some good hard wood, I'll, I'll toss it in there. And you use that for situations like this. I'm going to find some wood that will fit in there. Like this, this is part of a spatula. The rubber part broke, so I, uh, I took it to my shop. 
So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to use leverage to try to pull this out. Now I'm going to cut and grind this down so that it fits in there. I got the two sticks ready. I'm going to put one in here. And I am blocking it against the two braces there. So I put one in there and the other one in there. Now I'm going to use some leverage to try to pull this apart. Since these are made out of wood, it will not hurt the braces at all. So I'm going to block this against my body and then I'm going to take these two sticks and uh, try to pull them apart a little bit. And while I'm doing this, I'm keeping a very close eye on the trumpet. If anything starts to go bad, I'm going to stop immediately. Uh, you can do damage while doing this if you're not careful. Okay, I don't know if that's going to come out. I don't think it is. Since the wood did not work, I need to use metal. I need to find something that will fit in there. And I have a screwdriver that will fit in, and also I have a file that will fit into there. Uh, and since I'm using metal, I don't want to damage the instrument, so I'm going to put this wicking material in there, and that will help to protect it. Now it may do a little bit of damage, um, it might make a little mark on there, but you know, you have to factor that in. Is it worth getting the slide out to cause a little bit of damage? Now I'm going to do the same thing, and again I'm being very careful here, and you can cause damage while you're doing this, so you need to make sure that you don't. Okay, oh that, I'm pulling pretty hard. And using leverage, and it is not moving. So I am thinking that I probably am going to need to take the next step, which is disassembling this and getting it out that way. This part of the slide did not come out, so now I'm going to try this part of the slide. I'll see if that is any easier to get out. These are usually a little bit easier because the tubes are shorter, but, well, on this one I just don't know. We'll see what happens. And I am going to use metal on this one too, so I'm putting in the wicking material to protect that. This is a very common slide to get stuck, so I already have a piece of metal that I use for that. It's ready to go. So I'm going to put that in there. And then the screwdriver. And then I'm going to put another one there. I'm going to use the leverage to try to get these unstuck. Let's see what happens. The setup looks a little bit odd, but you just do whatever you need to do to get it done without damaging things. Okay, this is really in there good. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, I am going to give up on this one at least for now and put more penetrating oil on there and let that sit for another day. Once I get this valve unstuck, I'm going to put penetrating oil through the casing so that the penetrating oil can work from both directions. I think for now I'm going to abandon getting the tuning slides out and work on the valves. Once I get the valves out, it might be easier to get the tuning slides out. So I'm going to work on the valve caps. Oh, that came right off. <laughs> okay, one down, two down. That came right off too. And this is the one that's broken. Uh, well, there's a lot of junk in there. Okay, yeah, this one, the bottom of the casing is really messed up on this one. And the, the valve cap is cracked. I'm going to have to replace that valve cap. Oh, yeah, you can see right there, this is really messed up. It's not round at all. And also the threading right there, it got pushed way over. So this is really messed up. And that's going to take a lot of work to get that fixed. But for right now, I need to try to get these valves out of there. Now I'm going to try to get off the top valve caps. I have this tool. It has, it's like a pliers, but it has some rubber jaws on it, and that helps protect things so that they're not damaged while you take it off. This is actually used for plumbing, but it works for band instrument repair too. So I'm going to put that on there. And you also try to be careful not to hit the rest of the instrument with the pliers. Okay, that came right off. That was not hard. So that's one valve cap off. Now the finger button is really stuck too. 
Let's see. I'm not sure what's turning. I'm not sure if the finger button is turning or if the valve stem is turning. So I'm going to try to see what I can see there. Okay, it's the finger button that is turning. And I'm going to use this again. I don't know if I've ever used this tool on a finger button, but I guess there's a first time for everything. His finger buttons are never this stuck. Okay, there, I got a finger button off and a valve cap. Now I'm going to try to get the second valve cap off. It would be easier if the valve stem came off, but it's not, so you just have to work around it if I can. Okay, that, eh, it's not working. Okay, I'm going to go for the third one now. See if I can get at it from that angle. And, huh. Finger hook might be in the way too. I may have to pull that off. I will probably need to take that off anyway because it's bent. I'm going to have to straighten that out. So I think I'm just going to unsolder that finger hook, get that out of the way so I can work on those two easier. It's about a minute later. I got the finger hook off. Now I'll try... This one, okay, that came off easily too. Finger button came off right with it. It's, uh, yeah, oh, look at that. That was very, very corroded in there. And, well, yeah, I guess so. The whole uh, valve stem corroded. Yeah, there's the valve stem. I don't think that's usable anymore. Okay, I've seen corroded valve stems before, but I've never seen one half that bad. Now look at that valve stem. That's just a bunch of powder. I'm going to throw that in the trash. There. Now, um, let's see what we have. The felt is in there. And the felt... Uh, I'm wondering if the spring's going to pop out when I do this. Let's see. There, there is the felt. Uh, I don't think that's any good anymore either. Now the middle valve, and it came apart too. Let's see if this one is all corroded. Yes, it is. Look at that. There is the valve stem. I'm going to try to get as much of this out as I can before I start trying to get the valves unstuck. I'm going to see if this one uh, comes out or not. My guess is that it's going to break in the process, but I'll give it a try. Let's see if it's loosening at all. I think it's getting ready to break and not loosening though. Oh yeah, it broke. Okay, so, well I guess I'm not getting any of the uh, valve stems out without a fight. I'm going to try to continue to get these, uh, these valve stems out and also the springs. The springs are there underneath the valve stems. I got enough of the junk out to get the spring out on that one. The more junk I get out of the way, the easier it's going to be to get that valve out. I managed to remove two of the valve guides and most of the uh, aluminum alloy corrosion that was in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some more of the penetrating oil in there. I'm going to put it in the valves and hopefully that makes the valves easier to get out. I am a little concerned about the valves because uh, I don't want to damage them while pulling them out and I am guessing that they are very very stuck uh, just because of how much corrosion there was in there and the fact that uh, when I was tapping on there they didn't move at all so well, we'll see what happens. But hopefully the penetrating oil does its job and loosens things up just a little bit, enough so that those will come out. That's about as far as I can go on the trumpet for now. I'll try again to get the valves and slides out in the next video.